Hey, there are five, no, six, seven and six AFC teams. Those five teams are the Cincinnati Bengals, Cleveland Browns, Pittsburgh Steelers, Houston Texans, and Indianapolis Colts. Woo! Of those five teams, two of them are in the playoffs, and they play each other next week if the season ended today. It's Indy versus Pitt. Now, before we get there, we got to talk about the chaos that did unfold today. Every team that was supposed to win, look at it. Ooh, paint those in my faces. That's crazy. Every team that was supposed to win today really lost. And every team that was supposed to lose really won. Oh, I've got the, for the, most part. the dot on you. Oh, now it's tracking you. Yeah, it's tracking me. Anyway, look. Um, there was chaos. I was very upset during the cold stream. You guys saw it. I was live. I will be live again next Saturday with the game. Um, but as I was getting angry, I was checking scores and I was like, wait a minute. The Jags are losing. That's good for the Colts. Texans are losing. That's good. Um, who else, who else lost? Who else lost? Um, Broncos won, which wasn't good, but like, whatever. They can be seven and six too. All this means is it's do or die now. It was an easy vote. Win today, have all those other teams lose, and you're right there with Cleveland as the five and six seed basically locked in. Instead, the Colts chose to make it cinematic. And they choose to do something that they haven't been able to do since 2009, when I was five years old, and this lady right here was four. She was four. That has beat the Steelers. Colts have not won. They there's they've beaten thirty one out of the th out of the um no they've beaten thirty out of the thirty one teams right because they can't beat themselves. Although they did beat themselves today. Let me be real. We'll get into that. Thirty out of the thirty one teams they've beaten without Peyton Manning. The one team. I feel like they're so fucking loud that. I don't care. The one team that Indy hasn't beaten. Speak up more. We're good. I, I, <laughs> I sure as I like that better. <laughs> okay. But the one team Indy has not beat without Peyton Manning is the Pittsburgh Steelers. They've beaten the Steelers a combined six times since 1982. I saw that crazy stuff. Or it wasn't since 82. It was since, since the Colts became the Indy Colts. Six times. Colts have been in Indy for, um, is it 40 years this year? Yeah, 1983. So it's been 40 years. So, th Why do I have to so that means... Okay, that's gonna be really hard there. That means that the Colts. Oh my God! Do you notice that there's been a white thing on Chloe? Up? I don't care. Good. That's what I want. She wanted that. Okay, that means. Do the math, guys. We play the Steelers every year. Okay, that means that in the forty years we beat them six times. The Steelers were thirty-four and six against Colts. It doesn't matter if it's a rebuilding year. If the Colts are better, none of that matters. It's a cursed game. So what's my prediction? Well. I can't tell Ooh, you. I want to watch that movie. Oh, no wonder I can't go 60 FPS. More lights required. Great job. Bad lighting. I'm, I, I don't care. We'll turn on the light. Go ahead. It's not going to change anything too much. Okay. Look. So, let's get into the game, though. I just wanted to give you guys a playoff picture, you know, little thing right there. Indy paid terrible. But it wasn't even as much of, oh, okay, their defense is playing bad. No, offense couldn't move the ball. Um... And I, me and Chloe have been vocal. We were vocal last week, remember, about Gardner Minshew. He needs to be better. And I get it. Well, Luke, he's a backup quarterback. He, uh, he's a backup quarterback. He's a backup quarterback. He's a backup quarterback. He's a backup quarterback. Here's what I say to that. Here's what I say to that. Jake Browning just threw for 300 yards on our defense. He's a backup quarterback. Um, Let's, let's look around the league. With backups, right? Josh Dobbs of the Vikings. He just won 3-0 today. And you're like, well, dude, that's 3-0. I don't care. He got the job done. He didn't make mistakes. He didn't make enough mistakes to, like, you know, put him in a place where they could score. Obviously, the other team scored zero. So, the defense can't carry everything. The defense oh, had a pick God. six. The defense had a pick six. Indy scored 14 points today. And seven of the 14 were from the defense. The offense is awful. So for anybody who thinks that the Colts and the Pacers are the same, I always laugh. You're like, oh, yeah, both teams have good offensive bet. No, nope, very dumb.
Very dumb. Pacers have the best statistical offense in the NBA. Colts have statistically a pretty dang good offense, but it's not performing with Minshew. It's going to change with AR. Shout out to AR. I'm wearing the jersey. But next week is must win. And the Colts didn't play today like it was must win. They didn't give the effort like a must win. But to be fair, neither did the Steelers against the Patriots. These are two teams that, I'll be honest, played terrible this week. Two teams that played completely down to their competition. And two teams that are way better than how they played. So who's going to play up to their potential next week? You're blocking the dog. Because the dog's a focal point in the video. Look, it is very important, though, to all my Colts fans to keep believing. Don't stop. Believe. No, but look, Indy beats the Steelers next week. And they, they don't lock up a playoff position, but all they have to do is beat the Raiders and Falcons. Good girl. If they beat the Steelers, Raiders, and Falcons, that's 10 wins. They could lose to the Texans the final week, and they would probably be in the playoffs. Also, Jags keep losing. Texans just lost C.J. Shroud. All of these things are important. Not that I was hoping on a C.J. Shroud injury. But my starting quarterback hasn't been in for ages. Everyone wants to talk. Yeah, right, for like 10 weeks, it feels like. I, I think it's been 9 or 10, whatever. Too long. So don't stop believing now. It's backup versus backup on Saturday, 425. I'm streaming it. Be there. I'm going to make a prediction video for it Friday or Saturday, 2 a.m. Before coming over here and commentating the game with Chloe while wearing not this jersey. You're going to be shocked next week. I'm Anthony, not wearing that. Chloe's wearing this, and guess what I'm going to be going back to? Michael Pittman Jr. The dog. Bye-bye. Go Colts. Season's not over.